tens of thousands took to the streets of Moscow to mark Unity Day. This year, the parade had a distinct flavor of defiance against the West. Flags of the self-proclaimed People's Republics of Donetsk and Luhansk in eastern Ukraine could be seen among the Russian standards. In the suburbs, anti-immigration banners from nationalists filled the streets, signifying the growing strength of the far right. In a show of disunity, a group of pro-Ukrainian demonstrators also joined the parades, though they were in the minority. Russians should show that they're Russians and that they're masters in their country and not somebody else's, so that those people who come here feel like guests and treat us with respect. That's the only thing we want to demonstrate. We came here to protect our rights, those rights mentioned in the Russian constitution. And also we support the struggle of the Ukrainian people, because they're Slavic people like us. And we're glad that they've overthrown Yanukovych. Speaking at a gala reception, President Putin said that threats will not force us to abandon our values and ideals. The West imposed sanctions on the Kremlin over the crisis in Ukraine, though Putin denies Russian involvement in the conflict.